Before we jump into the declaration, it is convincing to figure out what atom gas pedals are. The Colossal Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets. Likewise, it is the world's generally essential and most earth-shattering molecule smasher. It addresses the zenith of human logical achievement. As an issue of truth, it's strong to the point that it could be capable of duplicating the authentic conditions of the first contribution in the world. However, could this machine, expected to open the secret of the universe, hold the way to something, clearly, something different for CERN? Spread out in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most well-known research organizations, with 23 part states and vast scientists. It's a spot for coordinated exertion and progression. The LHC is CERN's focal endeavor, yet it's just a single part of a colossal association of gas pedals and tests. Envision a course, not such a lot for vehicles or individuals, but for subatomic particles in a fundamental of expertise, steadiness, and space itself. The LHC speeds up protons too, for all goals and purposes, the speed of light, sending them on a disaster course that mirrors the energy of the universe right at the moment of the Big Bang. The effects make temperatures regularly truly consuming. Hotter than the center of the sun, countless magnets guide the protons on their trip, while complex cooling structures keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The support points inside the LHC are made to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring interfacing with the spots of four atom identifiers, MAP, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills an uncommon purpose, exploring uncommon pieces of atom material science. Together, they go about as monster cameras, getting portrayals of these mishaps. Experts then channel through the junk, searching for indications of the tricky Higgs boson, additionally called the God particle, and various anomalies that deal bits of the universe's boss design blocks. By focusing in on the microcosm, we gain pieces of information into the universe. Yet with each response comes one more request. With each revelation, another test arises. The LHC isn't simply a sensible instrument. It's a show of human interest and movement. It exemplifies our ambitious mission for data and our longing to make heads or tails of the key powers that shape our universe. At any rate, as we stretch the limits of what we acknowledge, we ought to similarly contemplate the really upstanding and existential requests that arise. What are the risks of taking a gander at the dark? Could our primary objective for seeing out of the blue open powers we have zero control over in the heavenly hallways of CERN? Where the impediments of human understanding are constantly pushed, an exposure has emerged that sends a chill down the spine of even the most established scientists. Brian Cox a past researcher at CERN and a voice of ability in the space of atom actual science, has recently said something that has left the world both enchanted and awkward. Cox's words resonate with chilling clarity. The objective of CERN's immense hadron collider is to duplicate a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a little version of the very event that delivered our universe. The physicist moreover wound up figuring out the ramifications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's astonishing potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to open the advantaged privileged insights of the Higgs boson and explore dark matter, a weird substance that makes up a critical part of the universe. Envision holding the power of creation in your grip, the ability to summon the genuine exemplification of the universe is a tempting opportunity, but one stacked with risk. The scaled-down Big Bang isn't simply a hypothetical thought. It's a significant reality inside the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the unrefined energy all copy the conditions of the first experience with the world. It's like standing at the start of recorded history, seeing the very introduction of existence itself. With such power comes commitment and the request looms. What if something ends up being terrible? In fact, something went wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky experienced a fiasco that would forever change his way of living. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Material Science in PCO, Russia, a failure made his head incidentally come into the direct path of a proton beam. The pillar, with a force that goes against insight, went through his skull, entering the back of his head and leaving through his nose. Borsky's experience was ridiculous. He saw a burst brighter than 1,000 suns, yet had no burdens. 
The beam's path left a disaster area, consuming tissue and bone. However, he remained insightful and even strolled to the center for treatment. The result was both disturbing and enchanting. The beam's path caused limited tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Yet incredibly, Borsky's scholarly assets remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This episode isn't simply an individual incident. It serves as an indication of the huge power and potential dangers of atom gas pedals. The risks of a molecule smasher like the LHC are not to be misjudged. The potential for disturbing responses, the very texture of existence being changed. These are not the stuff of science fiction, but certified concerns voiced by some respected experts. One of the most over-the-top disturbing, yet captivating, concerns associated with the LHC's tests is the possibility of creating a little black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are tremendous vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, weird substances that conceal in the shadows of our universe. The fact that the LHC could make such a substance, even on a brief scale, is staggering to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole ultimately grow wildly, swallowing the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have reassured the public that any black hole created would be flimsy and disappear. Nonetheless, quickly, the far-off possibility has sparked discussions, fears, and a sense of wonder at the power we employ. It's important to understand how the LHC could make a black hole. It has to do with the vital mechanics of atom gas pedals. When protons are squashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy produced is huge to such an extent that it distorts the surface of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, and then a heavy object is dropped onto it. The surface bends. Also, if the object is heavy enough, it could make a downturn so significant that anything nearby would be brought into it. This is a simplified analogy for what could happen at the LHC in the domain of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both odd and wondrous. There exists a theory that extra dimensions may be concealed within our presence. Assuming that these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could take advantage of them, creating a gravitational well that shapes a bit of our reality. Dark opening this weird dance of particles has even gotten the notice of a couple of outstandingly renowned researchers, especially the late Stephen Selling. In his book, he cautioned of a circumstance where the Higgs boson could become unsteady at very high energy levels. This shakiness could prompt a damaging vacuum rot, a staggering event that wouldn't simply decimate the Earth, but could really decimate the whole universe. The respected English cosmologist and astrophysicist, Sir Martin, also expressed concerns about the tests conducted at CERN. In his book on the future opportunities for humankind, he investigated the potential risks of particle collider tests, including those at CERN. His words were not simply judicious. They were plagued with a sense of existential fear. He examined a most dire outcome imaginable, where a failed test could create a condition called vacuum instability. This flimsiness could, in principle, set off a phase change that would resonate through the fabric of space-time, resulting in a devastating event that could overwhelm the whole universe. His concerns were not limited to hypothetical theories. He assigned a low probability to these horrendous outcomes. However, he contended that even a small chance warrants serious consideration. The stakes are without a doubt high, and the margin for error is razor thin. The experts at CERN have run simulations, investigated the theories, and taken every precaution to ensure the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the significance of this acknowledging the inevitable worries surrounding the activities at the LHC. He underlined that there are careful safety measures in place, careful reviews and protocols to ensure that the LHC's operations are carried out with the highest possible level of meticulousness. Cox reassured that the energies involved are well within what the Earth normally experiences, and the possibilities of creating a stable dark opening are infinitely low, regardless of whether one were created. Researchers say it would be so small and unstable that it would dissipate rapidly in an emission of energy, a phenomenon anticipated by Stephen Selling, known as Selling Radiation. It would be a brief moment of immense marvel, a fleeting glimpse into the deep darkness, and then gone. Some have gone further, 
speculating that the LHC's investigations could open a doorway to another universe or aspect. While this idea is largely dismissed by mainstream researchers, it has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of interest, fear, and even legend. What lies beyond our universe? Could we accidentally release powers or substances that we don't understand? The possibility of opening a gateway to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, fanning the flames of uncertainty. Yet how did this idea arise? And what does it mean in terms of scientific investigation? The concept of extra aspects isn't new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, proposes that there may be more than the standard three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception, but they could, in theory, be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a cosmic key, opening doors that have been locked since the dawn of recorded history. When protons crash at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in principle, create waves or disturbances that test these hidden dimensions, assuming they exist. The LHC could, in fact, uncover them. But before we indulge in wild speculation, it's important to understand that while the LHC is undoubtedly powerful, there is no conclusive evidence to suggest it will open a gateway to another universe, let alone to hell itself. Nonetheless, the allure of the unknown, combined with the strange nature of quantum physics, ensures that such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So, should we be worried about the LHC and its potential dangers? It's easy to be swept away by shocking headlines and fears of global catastrophe, but the truth is that the scientists at CERN are deeply aware of the risks involved. They have taken every precaution to ensure that their experiments are safe, and they continue to monitor and evaluate their work with the utmost diligence. The potential benefits of the research, the advances in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, the exploration of dark matter, are truly remarkable. It is not only an exhibit of human ingenuity, but also a window into the very heart of the universe. Still, like any great leap forward in science, it comes with its share of risks, and we should approach it with a balance of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the frontier of scientific inquiry, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its true potential to answer fundamental questions about the universe such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unmatched. Yet, despite extensive safety measures and careful calculations, the LHC still inspires a sense of mystery and fear among some. The sheer size of the machine and the energy it generates are staggering, and each new attempt opens the door to strange scientific realms. While most scientists remain confident about the safety of LHC experiments, there are obvious vulnerabilities. What if new? astounding phenomena emerge that challenge our understanding of physics and the laws of the universe. The LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and tests the limits of our control over the natural world. As particle collisions recreate conditions hidden since the Big Bang, the significance of these experiments raises existential questions about the potential consequences of altering the very fabric of the universe. Regardless, the LHC's achievements in particle physics have been significant. It has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the standard model, and opened pathways to potential breakthroughs that may one day shape our technological future. Despite the risks, the pursuit of knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its experiments delve into domains of physics where intuition no longer applies. For years, physicists have tried to understand the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, each playing a crucial role in the development of matter.